What's up guys? It's Brandon from Thomas Family Outdoors. Um, I said I would do it and it's finally gonna be uploaded. So I'm gonna do my rod video today. I've got a bunch of this is just a bunch of old junky rods. And they're not really worth anything, but these are my babies. This is what I use. This is what I fish with. There's a couple rods in there. I fish with more than I do others and some that I don't at all fish with as much as I do others. So but anyways. All right, we're going to start the video right here with these two jig poles. This right here is a, a, uh, so upset that, hang on. This is a B&M trolling pole. A good crappie fishing pole. I, I'm probably going to be a jig pole, and we might go a little bit trolling, but this is a really good pole. I recommend them. They're like $40, and this, it's a 12-foot B&M crappie pole. And they're, for the money, you really can't beat them. But this is my pride and joy when it comes to crappie fishing. This is my Bucks Graphite Jig Pole, B&M Jig Pole. It's a, it is a an 11 foot, I believe it's an 11 foot jig, yes, it's an 11 foot jig pole. I've got a, a Browning, what is this, a Browning Super Light Ultra Light Reel on it with uh, a six pound tran trialing transoptic line. So those are two really good crappie poles. I'd recommend either one of them. And uh, this is just a uh, really old Bass Pro reel with a Build Ants uh, bait, casting rod, bait casting rod on it. It's not, it's, it's a piece of junk really, but it's just a fun pole to go and mess around with in the yard or something. But anyways, this is a, uh, this is a Build Ants reel. This is a St. Croix pole. It's a seven foot medium heavy fast action pole. No, six and a half foot medium heavy fast action pole. I, this is my fluke pole. What I throw flukes and top water on. So it's a really good pole. I most, Some of these poles were given to me by a really good family friend. So I am really grateful for that. And I absolutely love this rod. It feels it feels really good and I, I have no complaints this is my crankbait pole this is a Shimano Corrado Bantam 5 to 1 gear ratio 15 pound trialing transoptic monofilament this is a Challenger 7 foot medium casting rod and I mean you can just tell right there how much how soft the tip is and it's got a lot of backbone once it gets down past the tip you really can't bend it at all so but let's see here all right this is my this is my everything I love this pole for anything at all I throw flukes trick worms top water spinner baits crank baits anything on this pole this is a six and a half foot tournament special rod is a medium heavy with the tournament special reel on it all in all this combo is about I think it's like 80 bucks it might be more it might be less but it's a really good pole I recommend the pole more than I do the reel the reel is okay but it's just it's just a reel it's nothing special about it and my cat's up under all my rods okay this is my baby this right here is my pride and joy when it comes to bass fishing it's my skeet reese combo I know that these kind of came into style and went back out of style about two or three years ago so don't don't make fun of me I just finally got it about a year ago so but I love this pole this is a skeet reese seven foot spinnerbait worm pole with the skeet reese victory on it it's got I believe it's got 11 ball bearings 62 to 1 gear ratio and uh, I absolutely love this reel. And these other two, the Build Ants and the Turning Special, Turning Special is a both of those are six to three to one. This is a six to three to one Bass Pro Shops Extreme. It's an old Extreme. It's not one of the green ones. It's an Extreme Pole Rod and Reel Combo. This is a seven foot medium heavy. It's a really good pole for Carolina rigging, top water. You can throw a Texas rig on it, but the Carolina rig, for the, just because of the reel, is what I throw on it. Because the, it takes a lot of weight for this reel to cast a really long ways. So, I mean, it's a good pole. And by no, no means am I saying it's not a good pole, but it's a good Carolina rig pole. So, all right, this is a Shimano Corrado Bantam, 6 to 2 to 1 gear ratio. 
This is a Solaris six and a half foot medium heavy casting rod. I throw spinner baits, top water. That's eh, I throw spinner baits and top water on this pole. That's pretty much it. I like it. I haven't really fished with it that much because I've got a lot of other poles to fish with. But I love the reel. It's a smooth reel, and I cannot complain. This is a uh, Bill Nance six to three to one gear ratio uh, casting reel with a uh, Shakespeare ugly stick light rod. It's a seven foot medium action. It's a really good light pole. It's a good like lipless crankbait pole. That's what I throw on it, and that's really not my pole. I mean, it's my pole, but my daddy, my my dad uses it more than I do. And then I've got two of these. This is just a build ants, one of the older build ants bait casts. The button came off this one, so it kind of sucks. But right now, what I'm using both of these for is just for a line holder. So like, I've got braided line on this one. That's because braided line doesn't. It doesn't go bad as much as like monofilament or fluorocarbon does. So I can like, if I want to change lines, like I think I had this on my, what pole was it? The St. Croix. I've had this 30 pound test braid on there. So I just took it off of there, put it on here and eh, I, it works for what I've got it for. Oh, one last one. Okay. This right here, if you were going to crappie fish in the spring in, in Mississippi, on black on Enid, Grenada, Sardis, or Arkham Butler, you have to have one of these. This is a Black Widow B&M uh, cork and minnow pole. It's 13 feet long. It's a telescopic pole. So see how that extends out, just like that. Is it cork and minnow pole? I mean, all you need is just a little cork with a about a a cork, uh, a crappie hook, and then like maybe a let me think about a not even like an eighth ounce split shot and you put them in on it and all you do is you just get right there to it you take it and you drop it down in the brush pile and you just set it there if they're then there they're gonna grab it and then whenever you get a fish you don't jerk on it real hard and set the hook you just kind of pick up on him and move him out so when you pick up on him he'll just kind of start swimming and then you just kind of got to guide him out of the thing and then you flip him up into the boat but that's about it for this video <clears throat> I said I will do my rods there's a bunch of them there but I mean this is my room it's really messy right now I've got a guitar some decoys in there there's a minnow bucket up there I lie. you see my deer I shot that deer in the backyard my new gun that I got for Christmas last year for last no yeah year before last shot him in the front yard our backyard Christmas day with my new gun I was so proud of myself but uh, um, you guys want to see my guns? Uh, top one is a Benelli, no, or not a Benelli. It's a, a Stoger Model 3000. It's a 12 gauge semi automatic. This one right here is a uh, Remington 870 Express 20 gauge. That's the first gun I ever got. I was so proud of that thing. There's a 4570 HR with the, uh, it's, a, let's see, it's a Simmons scope on it. I really don't like the scope, but it works. And then this is my baby. This is a Winchester Model 70. It is a 7mm Winchester Short Magnum, and it's got the bull barrel on it. And I have yet to see a rifle. I've yet to see this rifle in this caliber with the bull barrel. So I may have a one-of-a-kind rifle. I doubt I do, but I might. But, I mean, I love them. I love all these guns. This is a uh, Leopold uh, 3 to 9 by 40 scope. I love that scope. I'm talking about, like... 30 minutes after dark, it's like it's not even dark outside. You can see perfectly fine with it. Not 30 minutes after dark, but like, you know what I mean. Like right at dark, if you if your eyes are kind of blurry and you can't really see anything, but you look through that scope and you can really see. But oh, okay. But I mean, I made my made my mold video, so you guys should go watch that if you haven't already. And um, look here, this is where I'm gonna be going here in about two or three weeks. See that right there? Lake Pickwick. I'm not gonna show you guys what I've been marking on, but that's my that's my lake right there. I love that lake. But anyways, you guys, this is Brandon from Thomas Family Outdoors. I know this is a long video, and I'm sorry for that, but um, uh, this is Brandon from Thomas Family Outdoors, and I hope you guys have a blessed day.